Hey everyone, in our last tutorial on browser automation, we created a UI Vision RPA script or macro that runs a speed test. You can see it starts the speed test, triggers it to run, and then it reads the download speed and the upload speed of the results page and saves it into a comma separated value or CSV file. Every line in that file is a record that consists of the date and time of the speed test, the download and upload speed that was recorded for that execution. And today we are going to see how we can iterate or loop through every one of those records and submit them into a Google form as you can see on the screen here. Now, if you want to follow along the video with a copy of the completed macro today, you can download it from the link that you see on the screen here. So without further ado, let's get into the meat of today's tutorial. First, we'll start with creating a macro, a new macro, and we'll call it log speed test. Okay, now that we have an empty macro, what we want to do is to start by recording the steps of submitting a form. Now I've created a Google form uh, which you can access by the link uh, down below the video later. Um, but essentially, it will bring you to this ISP speed test form that I've created and put online. And now I am typing in some dummy data into every field of the form and just walking through the steps of submitting that form while UI Vision is recording all these activities. And the reason why we do this is so that um, within UI Vision, after we record the script, uh, UI Vision will contain the steps to enter the data onto the form and then submit that form. So now, as you can see here, the UI Vision macro would have recorded all the steps where we enter the dummy data into the form. And we save the macro and we always replay it to make sure that the macro is working and that it is able to enter those data into the fields and submit the form, which is what we wanted it to do. So let's start and if we come back to the script, we look at the first step, which is really to open the web page. And we take a look at our CSV file, which contains three records that we want to loop through and submit into the form individually. So the first thing we do is to add a CSV read command to read the CSV file. Okay, we provide the name of the CSV file, which is testresults.csv. Okay, if you needed some help, you can click on the info link and it'll bring you to UI Vision's website that describes more about this command, CSV read. Now that we have read the file, we want to use the execute script command to generate a number, which is a one, and we want to save it into a variable called current row. And the reason why we do this is because we know we are going into a loop, into an iteration, where we're gonna to have to loop through every one of those records and we're always starting with the first row. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna execute this CSV read command to get some ideas about some of the variables we're gonna get just by running that CSV read. Just make sure that you have that checkbox checked so that you can see some of the information that's read. So you can see we 
the CSV read command has read the columns, the four columns. It also has a variable that shows the current row as well as the maximum number of rows in the file. And this is important for the next step, which is the loop that we are going to create. Okay, and the, the, there are essentially two key variables here, one which is the maximum rows and one which is the current row. So what we want to do is now create the loop using a while loop. And the condition for the while loop is essentially, we want to make sure that we can loop through all the records in the CSV file. So we take the current row variable that we created and if, you know, while the current row is less than the maximum number of rows, we are then just going to continue to loop. But the moment we are, um, we have done with the final row, where current row equals to the maximum number of rows, that will be the last time we'll execute the loop. And right now, we close off the loop with the end command. Okay, now we have our loop done. It's time to go into the commands where we originally entered dummy data. And it's time to replace that dummy data with the information that we have read from the CSV file. So we know that the first step that we recorded, we enter the date and the time. So we know date is in column one, as you can see there. And what we want to do is have the date and then with a dash and the time. So although in the CSV file, these are located as two separate columns, we know that in the Google form is actually a single field. Now for the next step, we can use the find command to confirm which field that UI vision is looking at. And we can, we notice that there is the upload speed which in our CSV file is on column four. So in this case, I'm just going to enter column four for that second data entry step that we've recorded. And finally, for the last column, we're going to enter column three. We're going to pick the data from column three and input it into that field there. Okay, just to confirm that that column is represented, uh, or rather that field is um, the, the download speed field. Okay, now we also need to make sure that we increment the current row um, at the end of the loop. Okay, and we do that with the execute script command, as you can see here. And essentially, we will then, okay, use a return command and we will increment the current row variable um, by one every time we run through the loop. Okay, so we will now save the macro and proceed to the last step. And in the last step, what we're going to do is we're going to have to instruct UI Vision to read the next line in the file. Okay, and we do that by taking the current row variable, the value. So if it's if you have first time to the, through the loop, it will be one, second time it will be two. And we'll take that variable and we save it into a system variable called CSV read line number. And this CSV read line number is essentially the line number that UI Vision will read in your CSV file. So we overwrite that value with our current row. And then we, in, we run CSV read again. Okay, so when we run CSV read again, uh, UI Vision will, will read 
the line number in the file that is specified by the CSV read line number variable, if that makes sense. Okay. We save the file. And now let's let's run the macro again just to make sure that it's all working now. So this is the first time we're going through the loop. You see the time there. Okay, we just completed the first loop. Can you see the time has changed? So now it's actually reading, it read the second row. And now we are going into the third row, which is yet another upload and download speed being read from that file. And finally, we have completed looping through the entire file of three rows. So that's it for today, folks. Um, so we have created a new macro today. What I've done is I've exported the macro that we just created into a JSON file, and I've uploaded it onto my website. So if you just want to download this, just go to the website that you see there. Um, and when you go into that page, there is a link which you can click, which will then download the completed script uh, completed macro, which you can then import into UI Vision uh, so that you can have a play with it. And while you're on my website, do check out the other posts I have there. Uh, and if today's video is uh, beneficial to you, please don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to my channel for further updates into you know other RPA and automation videos that I'll be creating in the upcoming days and weeks. Thank you. Until the next time. Have a good day. Bye.